It's Justin Zimmer from Invicta Watch, and I'm told you just picked up a brand new Invicta Toolkit. I'm here to kind of show you, kind of give you a little bit of a tutorial on how to use this, and you made the right choice. This is one of those rare things in life. When you get this home, it's gonna quickly pay for itself just by sizing a couple of bracelets. So let's just run through kind of what this is all include, what this all includes, and then we'll kind of break down um, how everything works here as well. So you got a few things on the inside that you will need on a daily basis, especially if you're a collector. We'll start over here on this side. This is a sizing tool that you will use um, primarily for bracelets that are smaller. All you're gonna do is you're gonna twist this side and that will push the pins out. The next item over is actually a case back removal tour, tool. So it's kind of the um, the kind that will, will remove the pop-off case backs. But I do want to mention right now, if you do remove the case back to do anything, pretty much on the inside of your watch, change a battery or anything like that, that will void your warranty. But some people do choose to do that, and that's what you're going to use there. Of course, you have all the screwdrivers over here on the other side as well that you can use to remove a lot of different screws. Or if you have a case back that's a screwed down case back, you can do that. And then, of course, you have some punch tools. You have the hammer here, and of course you have the sizing block. So I'm actually gonna demonstrate real quick on how you can do that, because again, it's very easy to do that. So if you're joining us for the first time, I'll show you this one time and you're gonna be an expert instantly. So you're gonna take the sizing block, and what you're gonna notice is there's a lot of different sides to this block, different sizes. So that depends on the, the width or the thickness of the, the watch bracelet. So you'll just find the size that works perfectly. Then you're gonna see there's a bunch of holes in there as well and slots. And basically you'll line up the pins so that when you push them through, they can actually go through that block. So you're gonna use the block. You're gonna set that down on a nice soft surface. I'm just gonna choose one of the, the punch tools and then of course, we're gonna grab the hammer as well and I'll show you how this works. So I have a Pro Diver here, which is you know one of the more classic pieces you can get from Invicta. And the first thing you're gonna see is I'm gonna show you on the back, there's arrows. Now, whenever you see the arrows, that's the direction that you will push the pin out or punch the pin out. So that is very, very important. Also, when you're putting the pin back in, Make sure you push the pin back in that direction so that uh, you're putting that together properly as well. So I'm gonna put this on the sizing block, making sure the arrow now is actually pointing down. And I'm just gonna use a different, uh, different side here. And if it's pointing down, all we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the, the punch tool, we're gonna line that up, and then we're gonna simply punch that pin out. That's all it takes. Now, if I remove this from the block, you're gonna notice the pin is now sticking out the side, and this is what's called a friction pin. So on one side, it's a little bit larger. Just gonna pull that pin out, and there, that's all you've done now. So you're sizing your bracelet, very easy to do that. To put it back together, of course, you'll just slide the, the links back together, slide the pin back together, and then you'll just reverse what we had on the block here. We'll set this back down, and then you just take your hammer, and you're just going to lightly pound that pin back in and voila, you changed your bracelet. So kind of how we started this little tutorial, this is a set and congratulations that you picked this up that will pay for itself literally with you just sizing this a couple of times. Typically you'd have to go to a jeweler, have that done. You're doing it yourself. You don't have to leave your home at all. And that is the result. Congratulations.